Okay, so we have a problem here. It says find the probability and interpret the results. So the population mean annual salary for an environmental compliance specialist is about 61,000. So I kind of start writing. So the population mean is 61,000. A random sample of 37 specialists is drawn from this population. What is the probability our random variable, which is our mean, is less than 59,000? And we're given the population standard deviation is 5,600. Draw a picture, draw a picture, draw a picture. Let's see what this looks, looks like. So draw your normal curve. Pretty good, huh? And then right down the middle is the what they're telling me the mean is. And I basically want to know what is the probability, the area that I would get something less than, so that's why I'm shading, uh, the 59,000. Now remember, because we don't want to use calculus and we don't need a whole bunch of tables, so we're going to standardize, uh -oh, we're going to standardize the mean to zero and then figure out if we standardize what would that z-score be. Now we know it's going to be negative, right? Because it's less than zero. So how do we how do we do this? Well, we use my formula, x minus mu over the standard deviation. But wait, we have a sample size, so we do that. So plugging everything in, my x 59,000, that's my value of interest, minus my population mean divided by the population standard deviation over the square root of 37. Now be sure students sometimes don't do that bottom first. So I actually did some steps. So I get negative 2,000 up top should be negative, right? 59,000 smaller. And then on the bottom, I actually got 920.6343. And throwing that in the calculator, I get negative, which we said we should, 2.17. So negative 2.17. That's a horrible looking two, isn't it? All right. So basically what I'm saying is, is that, what would that probability be? So how do I do that? You know how you, know how you do that, right? How you do that? You find your table. And you look on the negative side. Why? Because my z-score is negative 2.1. And then I go straight across until I'm under 0 0.07. Why? Negative 2.1 plus 0 0.07, negative 2.17. And I get 0 0.0150. So that's what this area is. Let me get me a different different color going on going on right here so that is saying this area this probability is 0 0.0150 and it also asks if this is unusual and typically we say if anything is below or above two standard deviations is unusual so let me show you that right here and that's what this is saying is um the 1.49% I don't know why they put, I didn't put 1.50. Um, of the 37 specialists with a mean salary of less than 59,000, this is an unusual event. Again, why? Because we call things unusual if it's more than two standard deviations away from the mean. All right, and that's, you know to do this bottom part, the square root of your sample size, if they give you that it's drawn from a particular sample.